Hi, my name is Emily and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 thrifted items of all time. I will admit that I am not a huge thrift person. I'm not against it, but I don't do it all the time. So I was actually concerned that I couldn't come up with 10 items. But once I actually started sitting down and thinking about it, I actually came up with 10 items pretty easy of things that I have gotten over the years that I absolutely love and have kept. So everything in this video was either thrifted, from a consignment store, I also included Poshmark, ThreadUp, and Facebook Marketplace. This video is in collaboration with Megan Fox Unlocked, and I love her YouTube channel so much. If you are here visiting for Megan's channel, welcome to my channel. I am probably just as big a fan of Megan Fox as you all are. <laughs> Megan is a Mennonite mom of two kids. We're around the same age and we both have two kids. She has a little toddler girl and a baby boy. I love watching her cooking videos, her morning routine videos. She also did a video one time that was like a block schedule for the day. I love that video. I really found that helpful and inspiring. So if you're needing some inspiration for your everyday stay at home mom life, definitely check out Megan's channel. While you're at Megan's channel, make sure you comment down below that I sent you there. I can't wait to see the cool thrifted items that she has in her video. So I have most of my items right here that will fit right here and we're just going to go ahead and get started. One of the first things that I wanted to share with you is a beautiful pink dress that I bought for Everly when I was still pregnant with her. I bought this from ThreadUp and I'm not sure exactly how much money I spent on it but I think I paid like 8 or $9 for this dress. I don't have this dress anymore because she did grow out of it, but I do have a couple of pictures of her wearing this dress. So I have this picture of my mom and me. You can kind of see the dress. It is so cute. You can see it better in this picture of her. <laughs> she was yawning while my dad was holding her, but it was so cute. The top of it was this satin pink and the bottom was just full of tulle and ruffles and it was just so pretty. Everly looked so adorable in this dress. It was so beautiful. It was a baby gap dress and I paid like eight or nine dollars for it. I thought it was a great find. I found it on ThreadUp and I just love this dress. Definitely going through my thrifted items, this is definitely one of my all-time favorites. My second favorite item is these Ray-Ban sunglasses. These are pink, like, reflective sunglasses. I bought these a year and a half or almost two years ago. I found these on Poshmark. These are Ray-Bans, so they're pretty expensive sunglasses. They're originally $200. Like, if you go to their website and you build these sunglasses, it'll be $198 plus taxes and shipping. I don't know how much they charge for shipping. But I found these on Poshmark for $60. So I felt like this was a great find. When I got them, they were in really good condition. They didn't have any scratches on the lenses. The next item I'm gonna show you is also from Poshmark. I love thrifted websites because they're like, if you go to a thrift store, you have to like search through stuff. But if you use thrifted websites like ThreadUp, Poshmark, eBay, you can search for specific items that you're looking for. And I was looking for a Kate Spade passport holder and I found this one on Poshmark. I found this passport holder for $27. Here's the inside of it. It holds my passports. You can also put other stuff in here. And on the back, you can put stuff in there as well. So this is made out of genuine leather. And if I would have bought this at a Kate Spade store, it probably would have cost a lot more money. I don't know how much these go for, but I thought $27 was a pretty good price for a name brand passport holder, and it was in really good condition as well. The fourth item I wanna share with you is this Rattan basket. I found this at what is called a peddler's mall around here. Basically, a big store where there's booths set up and people sell from those booths. I can't remember exactly how much I paid for this. I showed this in one of my other YouTube videos, but I use this, this sets on my nightstand, 
and I love this it has like lotion and I keep lip balm in here and stuff like that on my nightstand and I think it's so cute and boho -y looky it's definitely an antique and I paid like two or three dollars for this it was a really good price I would have paid ten dollars for this easily but yeah it was like two or three bucks this is definitely one of my favorite all-time favorite thrifted items I love this thing I love seeing it setting next to my nightstand every time I reach for my lotion before I go to bed. The fifth item that I wanted to show you is this little coat purse. Isn't it so adorable? I bought this for Everly and you can see it's got the little coach label on it. I found this at a consignment store in Arkansas when we lived there and I just had to get this for Everly. At the time, Rosie wasn't carrying purses but now either one of them will use this purse. This was in great condition when I found it. I ended up paying like $18 or $20 for this and I thought that was a great deal because it's a coach purse and it's mini and I have a bunch of little purses for my girls every time we go to church I tell them to go get a purse they put their toys in it and they take it to church and it's just so cute the next item I want to show you is this hoodie and this is a Victoria's Secret pink hoodie and I love this hoodie I bought this hoodie from Poshmark. I always wanted a pink hoodie. I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on them because I don't wear hoodies often. Like I hardly ever wear hoodies. I bought this on Poshmark for $16 and I'm pretty sure the hoodies at Victoria's Secrets are probably like $40 or $50. So $16 was a great price. I have wore this hoodie out. I didn't think I would wear it very much. That's why I wanted to find a cheap one, but I have wore this so much. It will always be one of my all-time favorites. The next item that I want to show you is this blue skirt. This skirt is from Gap. And if you look on the inside, it's like sweatpant material. This is like a sweatpant skirt. And I found this at a consignment store with my parents when I was still living at home. So I've had this skirt for years and there are stains all over the front of this skirt <laughs> because I have worn it out so much. I'm not sure how much I pay for this skirt. Well, my parents actually bought this and I have worn it so much and I wear it around the house. Now these skirts are a little more easier to come by with all the new modest boutiques but back in the day when I bought this, you could not find a skirt like this anywhere. So this was like a hidden treasure. The last few items that I want to talk to you about are big items that I can't actually pick up and show you. So I will insert little clips so you can see what they are. So the eighth item that I want to share with you is our table and chairs. We got our table and chair from Facebook Marketplace. I was looking for kind of like a modern looking table and chairs. This table and chair posted on Marketplace. I loved it. I fell in love with it. We actually had to drive like two hours to go pick up this table and chairs, but I feel like it was worth it. I think we paid $200 for the full set, but it was basically like brand new. We got it way below the price of where they bought it from. I think they said they got it from Wayfair. The next item I want to share with you is a wicker shelf that I found here recently on Facebook Marketplace. And I have been looking for one of these wicker shelves for like months. I really wanted one. I thought it would go with the whole boho theme of our house. I wanted to put some cute plants and books on it. I haven't actually got it in the house and using it yet. When I got it from the people that I bought it from, I brought it home and brought it inside and I noticed it had an odor to it. So I've had it outside on our porch just kind of like airing out. But I found online some wicker cleaner that I'm going to buy. I need to do that. I just haven't had the time to buy that and spray that down and clean it real good before I actually bring it in the house. The people listed it on Marketplace for $35 and they already had somebody that was supposed to be coming and picking it up and i told them i was like i will be there first thing in the morning with fifty dollars they met me and they sold it to me for fifty 
<laughs> and I was so excited. I thought $50 was a great deal um, considering all the other ones that I found were $100. The reason they go for so much is you can't buy them new because they are an antique. The final item that I want to share with you is actually in our living room and I use it as like an end table. I'm not really sure what these are called. I know it's an antique table. I don't know if it's called like a magazine rack table. And this item was given to us by my husband's grandpa. We moved into a big house when we lived in Indiana and we needed more furniture. We didn't have a whole lot of furniture. So he gave us a couple of pieces and I loved this one. There for a while I had my house farmhouse style and I think it really matched the farmhouse style but I also think it matches the style that I have now and I was originally going to sand it down and repaint it like a gray color but I haven't touched it. I've just left it like it is because I like seeing the scratches and the dents in the original color that it came in. I think it just gives it character and I love it acts as like our little end table so we put like drinks on it books it holds a lot of my devotional books because I don't really have a lot of book space here in our house and I put like envelopes and stamps and thank you cards stuff like that usually stays in it and I love it I think it's a great piece and you can't beat it I got it for free <laughs> so I'm really appreciative to Evan's grandpa for giving it to us I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite thrifted item of all times ever was. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.